Hey, good morning. That's right. The Hawaii State Special Olympics Summer Games kicks off here in just a couple of hours. And I can tell you that the activity is already ramping up here at UH Manoa, the track and field area. And you can see behind me, things have gotten a little wind blown overnight uh, because of those blustery trades. But uh, volunteers here, more than 2,000 of them are helping us set things back up and get things ready to go when that first starting gun goes off here. Now, I can tell you that the games are taking place in various areas around UH Manoa. This is just one of those areas, the track and field area. The three-day competition, of course, emphasizes, um, you know, camaraderie and uh, the fun of sports. And with us this morning, we've got Dan, Dan Epstein. He's the sports manager for Special Olympics Hawaii. And good morning, Dan. Good morning. I know you've been, us. yeah, you've been doing this for 19 years, you told me. Yes, I'm in my 19th. Summer Games uh, it's a, this weekend. It's huge under. It's a huge undertaking that you to put on this event, right? Tell like me about you said, it. we'll use over 2,500 volunteers this weekend. Um, we've had people that have been working on this event for months and months and months. Many, many volunteers. We have our staff that really focuses in on this, and we have 1,200 uh, athletes and coaches from around the state that are going to be here from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from last night. Exactly. Well, so tell me about the layout here. What, what's going to happen on the field here? Sure. We have about 600 athletes that are doing track and field events, running long jump, shot put, standing long jump, softball throw, and then, of course, track events all the way from a 10-meter assisted walk all the way up to our 1,500-meter run. And, um, you know, 19 years now, Dan, tell me, what is so rewarding about this job for you? It's a fantastic job for me because I get to combine everything I love. I like uh, working with the community. I love working with people with intellectual disabilities. I love working with sports. You combine it all, all together in a job, and it's phenomenal. And what kind of stories have you seen personally from these these events? We have literally seen athletes that have grown from being in a wheelchair, not being able to walk through the years, being able to grow and become a power lifter, for example. I mean, we have seen people start in powerlifting where they can lift 50 pounds, and now they can lift 250 pounds. Um, we have an athlete that's actually going to Greece this summer as part of the World Games that will be doing the 1500 this weekend, and he'll be able to do it probably in about four minutes and 30 seconds. And he grew up barely being able to run. So we've seen just some amazing growth in our athletes throughout the years. And I, I can imagine that's just what keeps inspiring you to do this year after year. Right? Absolutely, and just seeing what the families get out of it as well. Uh, it, it's, it's both the families and the athletes, and then also the, the community. The community comes back year after year and year to support this because they're obviously getting something out of it as well. All right. Thanks a lot, Dan, for being here. Thank and you so much. <laughs> All right. All right. So, yeah, you too. All right. So those games, again, start at about 9 o'clock this morning. Athletes right now are apparently having breakfast, getting ready for, this, for the games this morning. So it's um, a three-day event here at UH Manoa, and the public is welcome to come on down and cheer for the athletes. They're both courageous and inspirational. All right. Back to you.